Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hoppets. Today, looking at another beer that was sent to me from Beer Gym, the great Belgian whip shop that sells a lot of craft beer. Right now, they have a lot of, have a lot of stuff from Wicked Weed uh, on their whip shop, and this is one of them. This is the Wicked Weed Shibalba Imperial Pumpkin Ale, brewed with cacao, cacao nibs, chilies, and spices on 8.2% alcohol. Uh, so it's made with a lot of chili. It's made with ancho serrano ha and habanero chilies, fall spices, and then the cacao nibs. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And of course, also pumpkin. So I don't know, Shibaba is some kind of mythical thing, I think. And it looks like it's related to like some kind of Aztec myth or something. I'm not entirely sure about that because I didn't look it up what it was before this review. So, oh well. Uh, got the beer poured here, and that is a dark pumpkin ale. Really out of season, too. I mean, <laughs> pumpkin ales are usually for the fall, and now it's spring. But that's often how it goes with, you know, imported beers. But it looks nice. It's a very dark copper. Nah, no, that's not copper. That's like a really dark maroon red, actually. Like a really dark maroon red, almost looking brown. Kind of one finger beige hat. Let's check out the aroma on it. Cinnamon <laughs> and chocolate. Oh, and it's got that chili, that uh, almost like a bell pepper aroma to it. Oh yeah, I'm getting that. Cinnamon is the dominance, but maybe nutmeg, allspice kind of thing. Uh, a little bit of a sweet maltiness, sweet breadiness. It kind of smells like imperialized brown ale with fall spices and pumpkin. You're definitely getting like that sweet pumpkin aroma to it as well. Quite a different pumpkin ale too, because it's made with chili. Hmm, yeah. Chili is, gives off a little stinging sensation in the nostrils, but it's not really too intense. Nice sweet malt, and I like brown sugar too. Sweet malt, brown sugar. Smells pretty good. Let's give the Wicked Weed Shibaba a taste. Cheers, guys, and thanks a bunch to Beer Gym for the beer. Oh, that's a really nice pumpkin ale, actually. Mmm. Quite a different pumpkin ale. I'm not getting too much of the chili on the flavor, really. There's maybe a slight kick of it, but it's more balanced. It's more, it tastes more like a traditional pumpkin ale on the flavor, leading my mind towards something like something to your pumpkin or something like that. And it's actually got a, really, a lot of nice flavor. Almost that crust action going, like high crust almost, because you're getting some breadiness from the malt. Like it's like... A, Bready sweetness, and you're definitely getting the sweet pumpkin flavor, lots of cinnamon and allspice, nutmeg as well. Um, cinnamon is the dominant flavor though. Brown sugar is there. I'm also getting a hint of that kind of green, uh, oh, not green, uh, yeah, bell pepper, green pepper, uh, capsicum, I think they call it in Australia. But yeah, I'm getting that kind of peppery taste, but it's not too much, like a little bit of a pepper skin maybe. But mostly it's like brown sugar and caramel and toffee and like brown ale, like you almost like a hint of coconut esque. It's like a coconutty almost flavor, which is odd because it's made with coconut and definitely the chocolate. It's kind of like a chocolate pumpkin pie beer thing <laughs> with a hint. I, I'm getting a little bit of chili heat on the back, not tasting the eight point two percent at all. Yeah, it's pretty much like an imperial brown ale with uh, spices. It's pretty good, not mind blowingly great. And not the best Wicked Weed beer I've had, but I like it. I dig those kind of spiced pumpkin ale flavors uh, or pumpkin ales. And I like that you also get a little bit of a different twang because you're getting that kind of chocolate coconut flavor and then some of the chili. So, good stuff, guys. Uh, Rating wise, for the Wicked Weed Shibalba Imperial Pumpkin Ale. Actually, when I popped it, it gushed a little, so I was afraid that it would be cross-contaminated. Oh, before we give you guys a rating, let's talk about the mouthfeel. The mouthfeel is a little light. It's like medium uh, lightly silky, but yeah, rating wise, we'll go straight up 90 on this one, it's a pretty nice pumpkin ale, I like the flavors on it, it it's nothing mind-blowing, but it's just a really nice dead-on pumpkin ale, uh, with a lot of flavor, I still think the best I've had is still something to pumpkin, I don't think I've had anything that could beat that, that was damn good, I haven't had something to in ages though, uh, we don't really seem to get Southern Tier in Denmark anymore, which sucks. I mean, they make some great beer, so especially this, like their Blackwater series, dark beer. So, guys, if you get the chance, definitely check out the Wicked Weed Shibalba Pumpkin Imperial Pumpkin Ale. Uh, good stuff. If 
you can't get it locally, you can of course get it on Beer Gym. And also let me know what is your favorite pumpkin ale. I often hear what people think the best is like, is this Schlafly pumpkin ale or Southern Tier or I think, uh, what's the other one called? Uh, it's got like a gold foil on the bottle. It's like in Bombers. I can't remember the name of the brewery. Oh well, uh, you guys will probably know. So guys, as always, remember to come subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. And I'm going to say cheers. And see you guys in another beer review.